The rich and diverse variety of life on Earth, in all its forms, is the foundation of our well-being, providing food, clean water, air, and much of our energy. Biodiversity and nature's contributions to people are at the heart of not only our survival, however, but also of our cultures, identities, and enjoyment of life. Despite its critical importance, biodiversity continues to decline in every region of the world, endangering economies, livelihoods, food, water and energy security, and the quality of life of people everywhere. The Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, recently published four landmark regional assessment reports, one each for the Americas, Africa, Europe and Central Asia, and Asia and the Pacific. The result of three years of work by more than 550 leading experts from over 100 countries, the four IPBES reports are the most important expert contribution of the past decade to the state of knowledge about biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. The reports focus on answers to key questions about the importance of biodiversity, progress being made to conserve it, and the threats and opportunities for a sustainable future. With the best available information communicated effectively, people all over the world can make better decisions and take more effective action to meet global commitments such as the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the Aichi Biodiversity Targets, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Africa has significant natural assets underpinned by rich biodiversity. There are, however, more African plants and animals threatened today than at any time in the past. By 2050, Africa's current population is expected to double, while more than half of all African bird and mammal species may be lost before the end of the century due to climate change. In addition, significant losses of African plant species and a 20 to 30 percent drop in the productivity of Africa's lakes are likely. The IPBES report reveals that about 6.6 .6 million square kilometers of land in Africa is currently degraded and that the impact of natural drivers, such as diseases, pests, and natural disasters, has increased over the past 20 years, worsening climate impacts, land degradation, loss of habitat for migratory and other species, and loss of soil fertility, productivity, and economic opportunities. Such impacts threaten the food, water, energy, and health security of people across the continent. While some measures and interventions in Africa have resulted in positive changes, the IPBES report emphasizes the need for appropriate governance, policies and national implementation, more effective integration of indigenous and local knowledge, and better supported use of scenarios in decision-making if the region is to meet its sustainable development targets and commitments. The Americas are biologically and culturally diverse, with extensive wilderness areas and seven out of the 17 most biodiverse countries in the world. The region accounts for 40% of nature's capacity to contribute to people's demands. Yet 65% of these contributions are now in decline, with 21% declining strongly. The IPBES report shows that despite being home to just 13% of the global population, the Americas are responsible for almost 23% of the world's ecological footprint. Over the next 30 years, the region's population is projected to increase by 20% and gross domestic product to nearly double, resulting in further increases in consumption. By 2050, human-induced climate change will be the fastest growing driver negatively impacting biodiversity in the Americas. Combined with unsustainable agricultural practices, this is projected to further degrade most land-based, freshwater, and coastal ecosystems. Although the protection of key biodiversity areas has increased, fewer than 20% are currently protected. 
The report emphasizes the need to better utilize indigenous and local knowledge, implement effective conservation policies, and make human-dominated landscapes more supportive of biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. Some countries in the Americas may achieve aspects of the Aichi biodiversity targets, the Sustainable Development Goals and their climate commitments, but continued biodiversity loss could significantly undermine these efforts. Biodiversity and ecosystems support more than four and a half billion people in Asia and the Pacific. But rapid urbanization, deforestation, invasive alien species, climate change, socioeconomic transformations, and loss of traditional knowledge and practices have led to a decline in biodiversity and nature's contributions to people across the region. About 90% of global aquaculture production occurs in Asia and the Pacific. However, an estimated 37% of aquatic and semi-aquatic species are now threatened. Rising land, air and ocean pollution has also greatly impacted the health of both nature and people. Of the 10 rivers in the world with the highest amounts of plastic waste, eight are located in Asia, which also accounts for up to 95% of all plastic pollution in the ocean. The Asia-Pacific region has achieved significant economic growth and reduced poverty while simultaneously increasing the coverage of protected areas and forests, but more needs to be done. The IPBES report highlights the need to increase regionally coordinated protected area management efforts and to improve the application of science and technology, cross-border collaboration, culturally sensitive scenario planning, and the capacity building and empowerment of indigenous and local communities in governance and management of nature. Across Europe and Central Asia, nature contributes to economies and human health through the provision of food, medicine, and improved mental and physical well-being. There is, however, a continuing decline in biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. Wetlands have declined by 50% since 1970, with significant degradation of grasslands, peatlands, and coastal marine habitats as well. The IPBES report reveals that the region's ecosystems face several challenges with regards to species diversity, with 28% of assessed species unique to the region currently classified as threatened. The status of biodiversity across the region has been declining in 14 out of 15 land-based habitat types since the 1950s and continues to do so. While in the European Union, 27% of marine species and 66% of marine habitat types show an unfavorable conservation status. Intensifying agriculture and forestry, combined with natural resource extraction, urban development, pollution, invasive alien species and climate change have also led to a decline in biodiversity and an increasing loss of indigenous and local knowledge. There has been some progress in increasing protected areas and mainstreaming biodiversity across governments and societies. However, current trends are unfavorable for the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, the Aichi targets and climate commitments in the region. The IPBES report highlights the better use of policy and integrated approaches to motivate changes in behavior, as well as capacity building for indigenous peoples and local communities, and sufficient funding to support research, monitoring, education, and training. The message from all four IPBES regional assessment reports is that with the exception of some positive examples, biodiversity and nature's capacity to contribute to people are being degraded, reduced, and lost due to a number of common pressures, including habitat stress, the over-exploitation and unsustainable use of natural resources, air, land, and water pollution, increasing numbers and impacts of invasive alien species, as well as climate change, among others. The best available evidence, gathered by the world's leading experts, points us now to a single conclusion. We must act to halt and reverse the unsustainable use of nature, or risk not only the future we want, but even the lives we currently lead. 
Fortunately, the evidence also shows that we know how to protect and partially restore our vital natural assets. IPBES, science and policy for people and nature.